Guys, of course, find me on no WhatsApp to let me build with you soon. Okay. Okay, bye.
Hi, uh, welcome to today's webinar for the K-Shop Light Portal. Uh, I see we've got uh, currently 54 people uh, that are on and, uh, and streaming. Um, we're going to go through about a 15 minute presentation, just, uh, just how to set up a portal, uh, a little bit about the features of the portals, uh, and, and obviously how you can use it um, to, to improve your business. And after that, we're going to have a Q&A. But feel free, if there's anything that you want to ask in between, just pop us a, a message on the, on the chat there. I um, hope everybody's picking up the audio. Is it all good there? Can somebody send me just a, a note there? Let us know if it's good. Okay, I see is it Dane, Dane Hannaford, are you not you not getting any sound? Yeah, thanks Greg. Okay, so see we all good there. Okay, so let's start straight away. So just a bit of an agenda for today. We're gonna to do the intro. Uh, we're gonna go through what is K-Shop Light about, uh, the creating of K-Shop Light portal, the basic setup of it. Um, how you manage your categories and pricing, and then at the end we'll do a bit of a Q&A on that. Cool, so a bit of an intro. Um, myself have been in e-commerce for the last uh, 12 years. Uh, we founded a business called Liquidbox. Uh, we partnered with Kevro to build out K-Shop Lite. Uh, that, that relationship's developed into the product that we've got today. Um, we've worked in both local and international markets, so we've got fair amount of experience in both the South African market as well as the European, US and, uh, and Asia market. So we work in both B2B, B2C and B2B2C. So, so if we look at what, what really the K-Shop Life portal is about, it's about B2B, which is your user engagement that you've got with Kevro, and then 2C, which is your consumer or your customer, right? So it's enabling it right through from Kevro to yourself as a reseller to the consumer, the end consumer out there. So what is K-Shop Light, right? It's a, it's a three minute, easy, easy user-friendly setup um, system where e-commerce platform where you can go and create a online store and you can create multiple of those. So you might create certain for certain parts of your business, uh, might create company stores, but also your public website could, could be replaced by K-Shop Light. Uh, there's a new control panel. For some of you, you might have been using the old system before. So there's a whole new control panel that we launched about three months ago. Uh, it's quick to customize. So if there's anything that you need to change, it's really just logging into Kevro, being able to change it. Uh, it's got a, a device responsive themes. So on those themes, you're looking at what it would look like on mobile versus what it would look like on desktop, right? So that's quite important in, in today's world where we see anything between 60 and 70% of traffic coming from mobile devices. And key to that is obviously live inventory and pricing. So you really need to have live inventory on your site 
um, so that you're sure that what you're selling and what you're promoting is actually available. And the pricing is also quite key. So with with prices fluctuating quite a bit, with be it the Rand dollar exchange or whatever the reason might be, you might have a special that's coming through from, from the supplier like ever to ensure that you've got that pricing enabled on your site. Cool, so what we're gonna go through, I think just looking at the stats that we got, um, we got quite a few guys that are, haven't set up a portal in the past. So I think we're going to go through just quickly on the Kiver environment how to how to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take us on to Kiver, uh, show you where the toolbox is, where you can create the portal, what package to choose from there, uh, how to set up your website name, and and depending on your royalty status, there might be a payment that's applicable at that time. So the first thing is going on to on to Kevra. We all, I think, are familiar with the new Kevra environment. Uh, so there's a new uh, Kevra website that, that launched a couple months ago. So within this right top, um, most of you have probably logged in in the last couple of months and either placed orders or did quotes uh, on this. So in here, putting in your login details, log in. Once you're in, you'll be presented with your dashboard. I think you're mostly, mostly familiar with that. Um, then left top, there's an icon there, a little hammer. That's the, the toolbox. And in there, you'll see the couple of options. And the second, uh, second column there is custom website. And you have the option there to go to create portal. Going into Create Portal, you have two options there. The package that we're focusing on today is the Light Package. Um, so I can choose that. Then putting in my, my website name. So website name is quite important because it does play a role in both the URL that your website will be on and the URL is the link that you would send out to people and as well as the SEO. So, so if someone is looking for your company name, uh, you typically want that to rank quite high in Google results. So, so make sure when you choose your website name to keep in mind what, what effect it might have on, uh, on, on SEO. The final page for setting it or for, for enabling a portal, for creating a portal, is really just a payment. So in this case here, um, mine is, uh, is, is quite a basic account. Uh, on my demo account here, I would have to pay an annual fee. So I've got an annual fee of 1,280 Rand, which I think works out to about 109 Rand a month. Uh, Exvat, which, uh, which I'm sure we can agree is quite a good price for, for a website these days. Cool, so that from, from creating the portal is, is really as, as easy as that. Once I've completed payment, um, you'll head back to Toolbox and you'll see, you'll have a list here of all the websites that have been created, right? So, so if we look left top there on Toolbox, uh, I've got a, a link in there that's Liquorbox Demo. Okay, I see you guys are struggling a little bit with the, with the resolution coming through. Uh, let's have a look what we can uh, just do on that to see if we can get that a bit better for you guys. A quick look just to see what we can do about the resolution.
Let's hope this is a bit better. Okay, so hopefully you get a bit of bit of better quality coming through there. Um, we're gonna we're gonna carry on and just have a look at uh, once we've created that portal, just what the setup looks like, right? So uh, we first thing that we got to do is start off with um, with setting up what our portal is gonna look like. So what we're looking at here is that we've got a different responsive theme. So we spoke earlier about being able to have a, a site that's working well on mobile. So you'll see we've still got the themes that we've previously had for those that have uh, been on the old portals, uh, moving on to the new system. You really just have to change from the theme that was previously available to one of the new mobile friendly uh, themes that are available. So the first three there, they've got slight variations in their layout, uh, but each one's got the standard menu structure and the categories that are set up uh, within the within the Kebra product set. So looking at this here, I've uh, on this by default it came with theme two. I can then change over to a theme one. Uh, moving on a bit further down, we can see that I can choose the color of my site. And so if we have a look just at the right top, there's a link here for view portal. And so clicking on view portal will open up for me what my site currently looks like, right? So at any point in time, I can click on that. And then we'll get a, a look for, for what the site's going to look like. Cool. So we start off with uh, a couple of things to do on that. Um, within here, we might want to change the color. If you know the color code of, of your business, the main color, you can specify that here. You can also just pick one of the colors with, with the color picker. So I'm going to go with a, a blue there. Um, you can at any point in time as well make, uh, make changes and just save it and review it again by refreshing the screen of your um, of your website, right? So if I've changed that to blue and I then go back to viewing my portal, we can see that now the theme has changed to to blue on refreshing it right so so the changes that you make uh, within the within the control panel are instant right so they're live changes that uh, that come through so moving on to some of the settings so uh, once we've done the theme and the color we can then go back to the control panel uh, and within there we can uh, we can go to settings and this, this is something that you can do either, uh, you know, a section at a time and come back later. Uh, it's always available for you within the Kevra environment. So once you log into Kevra, um, you, can, uh, you can always get back into this environment. So here, I'm just going to show you quickly how I can change my logo. So I'm going to change from one logo to another. Uh, choose the file and I literally just click, uh, uh, click the upload logo. That will then change the logo for me on the uh, on the website. Uh, after that, if I wanted to change later on, you might want to change your website title. Uh, you might have a different web address that you wanted to specify. You can change all of that uh, within here. Cool. So the next section that I just want to take you through is some of the, the options on the on the portal, uh, specifically in terms of pricing. Um, the 
probably the most important options in terms of pricing is whether you want to show pricing including VAT or excluding VAT um, and whether you want to have no pricing displayed on the site either. So some of you might choose to have your pricing visible with the markup that we'll go through now um, and others of you might choose not, not to show your pricing or to show pricing excluding VAT. So you'll see that you've got the option for all three of those. You can then also have the option to allow customers to place orders on the portal, right? So there's a, there's a tick box there. Um, and that is basically just an order request that will come through to you in email format. And from there, you can, um, you can create uh, or receive orders. Right underneath that, there's a banking section just to complete your banking information. So if you allow placing orders on the site, it will send your banking information to the customer so that they can make payment directly to you. I'm going to head down just, uh, just past some of the content set up. You're going to see there, there are a few things there that you can do about delivery, contact us, um, your social media links. But next next section that I really want to move on to is, uh, is setting up the product categories for the website. Cool. So now we're in product categories, we, we can see that we've got apparel as being the first main category there and then the categories underneath it being the ones that I've pre-activated, golf shirts and t-shirts. And there's a, a markup percentage column um, next to each one of those, right? So this gives you the opportunity to set up your markup uh, specific to category. So if you have a look at that, we've got golf shirts at 35% markup and t-shirts at 35% uh, at markup. So what's quite, quite important to note on this is that this is standard pricing and not royalty pricing. So, so you would have to calculate if there is a, a royalty discount uh, that you're receiving that that needs to be accounted for um, within this as the markup is just on the standard pricing. So we can see you can select from all the different categories. You don't have to show all the product range. You can be quite specific in terms of what you want to show. And you can also vary the markup. So if you've got some, some of the products at a different, different markup, like I've got backpacks here at 50% and travel bags at 40, uh, you can adjust that. And you can adjust that at any time, right? So if you, if you wanted to change some pricing to run a promotion within category for a week, uh, you could log in on the Monday, change the pricing, and on the Friday you could you could adjust that markup to what it was before. So just looking on on the portal itself, we'll see that I've got the two categories there: apparel and bags, and underneath them there's subcategories, and then within that I've got the full product range uh, visible on on my portal, right? So. So we want to be sure, again, testing at any point in time, as you make changes in your control panel, you can always go view it on your website to see how those changes have taken effect. So here we can see I've got what we've changed so far is I've changed my logo, I've changed my main color, and I've set which categories and at what markup I want them uh, available on my site. Then the final, before we just go over to a bit of Q&A, uh, just orders. Um, at the bottom of the control panel, there is a section for orders. So as you will get an order notification for uh, anybody that's placed an order or requested a quote on your portal, uh, that will all be listed there with the full customer, customer information. Um, but as I mentioned, you will get an email notification on each one of those requests. So, each one of them will come through to, to the email address that you signed in into the Kevra environment. And that email address is obviously linked to your portal. So that would be the email address that we'd send any communication back to you. Cool. Well, I hope that that gave you a bit of an idea of the, the K-Shop Live portals. Um, I think we're going to switch over to, to Q&A now. So if you guys want to post in the comments, if anybody's got any questions, uh, we're going to be online for another probably about another five minutes. Um, this video, I see a couple of guys experience some problem with the quality of the video. We'll just check that afterwards. We did record a, a high res version of it. We'll upload that and just share it out with you guys again 
uh, post session. So probably be up and running in the next day. But um, but yeah, has anybody got any questions? Yes, yeah, so Tanya, um, no problem. So the question from Tanya there is, uh, she just missed the beginning, just where to find the portal, so where's the pricing? So once you've logged on to the Kevra website, uh, you'll see there's a toolbox icon at the left top, uh, and within that there's a link to create a website. So if you go in there, you'll see it's a really easy three-step process just to sign up a portal there, and your pricing will be available there as well. Okay, Daniel, very good questions. Will there be options for analytics on this portal similar to Google Analytics? Very much so. So we're in process right now for both basic reporting within this and also the opportunity for you to implement Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager uh, within the portal environment. So you would be able to tag different events using Tag Manager or if you just want the, the standard Google Analytics interface, uh, you'll be able to load your own Google Analytics um, uh, code. So, so we are in process for that. Yeah. So, so the the the, the K Shop Lite is only for Kevra products. Uh, if you want to load additional products, um, that's really what K Shop Plus is about. So we'll do we'll do another webinar on that one because that's that's got a lot more advanced features and a lot more flexibility with it. But it is, this is really just about setting up a quick site uh, and saying that doesn't, you, you know, take up a lot of your time day to day managing the website. Cool. So probably in the in the next week to two, we're gonna we're gonna do another session, uh, more around some of the tips and tricks that that we've picked up over time on these portals. So uh, just little features on pricing and product and layout uh, changes that can be made. Some of the content features that are there. So look out for that. We'll we'll send you guys all the update for that again. Yes, yeah, so updating products, right? So like new products launch. You want those products on your on your K-Shop Lite straight away. So that's exactly what it does. So so as products get loaded uh, on the Kevro side, it pulls through straight to K-Shop Lite. And uh, with its new pricing, with its new images, with the variants, uh, all of that pulls through automatically. So you don't have to manage any of that content. Yeah, so the question there from GoWebs is that with KShop Plus, you can load products from other suppliers, correct? So you can load products from other suppliers. We actually also have a lot of integration to other suppliers. So, so if there are other suppliers in the market that, uh, that, you, that you buy from, uh, just check with us as we might actually already have an uh, integration option to that supplier. So similar to, to what we've done with... Um, with uh, with the Kevra data, you know the big the big value add there is that you don't have to update all that content, right? The descriptions come through, the pictures come through, the inventory is live, and the pricing is correct. So uh, we've we've got other suppliers that we've integrated into that environment as well. Website name is 100% up to you. Obviously, if it's not taken yet, uh, K Shop Light uh, we we run on the the domain bcgshop.co.za. Uh, for the for K Shop Plus, you can choose your own domain, so you can even have your own domain there, and and there are a host of features that come with K Shop Plus, uh, additional modules that are available with it. Um, but you can choose your own name and uh, and uh, and your own URL. So linking to to Shopify, we actually we we do actually integrate. So if you've got if you've got data sitting in Shopify or data wanting to publish to Shopify, either way we've got feeds in or we've got uh, data connectors to, to pull data from. So, so we do actually have other functionality available. Um, Shopify and and you know if you if you guys are looking at those type of platforms, you might be interested in some of the some of the ad space as well for getting your products out there on your social media. Uh, we do product ad feeds that, that can be used and, and that's also readily available. Yeah, so I see Tanya's asking about actually about how do you integrate with Facebook. So probably the the best we've seen in market or the best results we've had in market have been with product um, product ads. So so have a look at uh, dynamic product ads on Facebook, the carousel ads that run. You know, remarketing, prospecting, uh, there, there are a lot of opportunities. It's a great way to integrate to your social platforms. Uh, 
si va a tener que ir a su video o sea, es de 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 Kevra website. So if you're having an issue, please drop uh, drop us a mail there at web support, uh, and and let's be sure to have a look at that and help you out with that. So Tanya, currently that is only for for plus. Um, but um, you know there, there, there might be some developments in that uh, in the future, but currently only on plus. Uh, Glenn, it varies. So, like the 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 light um, is uh, is 100 and 109 rand a month. It basically that it works out to. Uh, so, light is the licensing is uh, is paid in the Kevra environment directly to to Kevra, and it's an annual license that's paid. Um, but depending on the on the royalty status, there are discounts that are applied, and I. Um, so, so just check probably either with uh, with your agent or uh, your, your rep, or um, just log into the Kevra environment and you should be able to pick up your specific pricing there. Cool. Uh, stay on here for. Let's give it one more minute. Anybody got any other questions? Uh, the question there from GoWeb, so does the Plus run on Kevra? Um, I'm not quite sure what is meant with that. So Plus, if, you, if you're asking about setup, exactly the same as, uh, as Lite. You, do, you go through the same setup process, um, but it does have a different control panel. Uh, as it has a lot more flexibility, you can edit the CSS, you can uh, create HTML, you can uh, use a host of the different controls. Um, there's much more flexibility in that, but obviously that is for a slightly more let's uh, advanced user group, uh, where this is really like just a quick deployment, easy to set up. Ah, okay, sorry, thanks, uh, Park Boys. Did I, did I miss Daniel's question there? Yeah, so products get checked out with branding options be added before cart. So that is something that's uh, not there right now uh, in terms of in terms of branding. Uh, we currently just have the branding pop up. So pricing on branding is not currently included in the process. Cool. Anybody for a last question? Anything else that I can help you guys out with? Okay, I think we're good for today. So, guys, we will upload a, a, a video of this again uh, probably later today. It will should be available on the channel. Uh, and look out, we'll be doing these quite regularly. So uh, really looking forward to, to working with you and helping you guys getting your, um, your digital on the level that you want it. So thank you so much for joining today and uh, look forward to the next one. Cheers, everybody.